Hey there, what's up you guys? DZ here, and I'm gonna share with you today the simple Tunisian crochet garter stitch. Stick around and I'll share with you exactly how to do this simple technique to produce a very knit look item. If using size four ply yarn, use an eight to nine millimeter Afghan hook for best results. For thicker yarn, use a hook at least one to two sizes larger than you would normally use. So we're gonna start with a chain of any number. And we're just gonna make our foundation row using basic Afghan stitch. Go ahead and pick up the loops this way, all the way to the very last chain. To close your row, you're simply going to yarn over and pull through two loops all the way to the beginning of the row. Whoops. For the first row, we're going to Tunisian purl stitch as normal, bringing your yarn in front and grabbing the front vertical bar. Yarn over and pull up your loop. And we're gonna do Tunisian purl stitch all the way until we get to our last stitch right here. Now we've done all the stitches. We have our end, loop le end loops left. Just insert your hook underneath both end loops, yarn over and pull up. And then we're gonna close our row just like we did before, yarning over and pulling through two loops to the beginning. All right, so we're back to the beginning and we're gonna start row two. With your yarn in front, you're going to bring your yarn in front, insert your hook underneath that back vertical bar, yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn in front, pull your back vertical bar forward, and you can already see the magic right there. So, and we're going to Tunisian simple stitch in our end loops. Go ahead and close the row just as before. And this is it, ladies and gentlemen, the Tunisian garter stitch. So keep practicing, keep going up as high as you want, make whatever you want. Use this stitch in place of Tunisian Pearl Stitch and see what happens. Now, a note before we close really quick, whatever yarn and hook you use will determine how your project turns out. So keep in mind that different hooks and different yarns produce different results. All right, so please leave me a comment or a question. And as usual, I love hanging out with you guys. Peace out, till next time.